Let's take a look at initial setup, navigation, and the main menus within the W4900 indicator. We'll start by powering on the tool. That'll bring you to your startup screen. You would touch that one time. That'll bring you to where you can choose your language. You have seven to choose from. You would scroll through, pick what you're looking for, hit the home button. If you make a mistake and you need to change that, you can touch the start again. It'll bring you through the main menu again. Now you're back to where you can select your language. Select what you need. Now you're at your home screen. This is where you have access to your analog English screen. You have access to your analog metric screen. You also have your digital screen. And to get between the two as a shortcut, you can just touch the number. That'll bring you straight back and forth. You can do that in either the inch or millimeter mode. Then into your back home, you hit the home button. The settings menu is on the right with the gear icon. Settings provides many customization options. We'll cover that in the customization video. The power menu on the left has set three options that you look at. The sleep timer, where you can leave the tool on forever, or you can have a sleep time up to 30 minutes long. You can turn the tool off automatically. You can adjust the backlighting where you could make it dimmer or brighter to make it easier to read or save power. There's a help selection where you would see the version, the QR code, which would give you the user manual access and the MAC address for radio purposes.